Can we guess your age based on your favorite horror movies? What's your favorite horror movie franchise? Friday the 13th, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranormal Activities, Poltergeist, The Purge, Saw, Scream, a horror movie series not listed here. Which one would you choose? I would go for the Friday the 13th. Let's go with the Friday the 13th. What's your favorite standalone horror movie? Babadook, oh it was good! Kevin in the woods. It Follows was really really good. It wasn't that scary, it was more psychological, it was really good. Let the right one in, I didn't see it. Shaun of the Dead, it wasn't scary that much. Last House on Left, didn't watch it. The Others was amazing. You're Next, I didn't see it. I didn't watch it, didn't watch it, didn't watch it. Not that scary, good. Let's make it fun, let's go with Shaun of the Dead. Which horror movie monster is this? Pan's Lab, yeah. Pan's Labyr Labyrinth, yeah. Or however it's pronounced. I think that movie was amazing. It's not an English one, right? They were Span it was Spanish. Spanish movie, I think. I would also go for the thing. Samara is scary, but you know. Chatty! Kenny, I think you were already a bunny! Who's your favorite horror movie serial killer? Buffalo Bill? What? Don't know who he is. Maybe it's it's an older movie, even before I was born. Ghostface, he's funny. Hannibal, yeah. Jigsaw, Saw. John Doe, yeah. Leatherface. Oh my God, the one who got uh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Norman Bates, I don't know. Patrick, no. Come on. Who's your favorite horror movie serial killer? This or, or Leatherface, actually, I don't know. But the mindset of this guy. <laughs> Definitely. So what's your favorite horror movie remake? Evil Dead, Friday the 13th, Halloween, House of... Oh my god, when I see this woman. Uh, Night on Elm Street, Prom Night, Last House on Left, The Wicker Man. No, no, no. I haven't seen half of them remakes. <laughs> nah. Let's go for Dawn of the Dead. Pick a foreign horror film. They always take these foreign movies and make them again, remake them. Any Japanese. The Ringo would be it. Honestly, like. I heard that audition is also scary. I didn't watch it. Who's the creepiest kid from a horror movie? See, the thing is that th he's not scrapey. Let's let's make one thing clear. Call from Sixth Sense. He wasn't creepy at all. I cried. I loved him so much in the movie. I cried for him. Oh, Regan the Exorcist. Oh my god. That movie, when it came out, the first time I saw it, I was really young. Whoa. I would go for, for Regan. All of them are adorable. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you 100% sure? Regan for sure, guys. I can't. Ah! I can't even look at her. Ah! She was so scary. She, she, when she went downstairs and pissed on the floor while people like, while her family were hosting people. That was a funny one. Pick a final girl. A final girl. So they are like the ones who survive by the end. Okay, because I haven't, I don't know what movies they are in. I will go by like the acting skills. So I would go for replay. And his name is John C. Thank you, Boogie. Her acting skills. So I'm going for it. Finally, do you know what's happening in the scene? No. <laughs> Guys. I'm 35 years old. It gave me a 35. What? 
You got 35. You are in your late 30s. As far as your taste in horror movies is concerned, you've seen plenty of horror movies from multiple decades, and you definitely have your favorites from a decade or two ago. At the same time, you love when newer horror gets creative, like in It Follows or Cabin in the Woods. That's true, though. I've seen a lot. And I like the creativeness in the new ones. I like if you are going to bring me a scary kid that like it's 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 all bring me something new like the paranormal activities the first movie when it came out it was a new thing and I love it then like they started doing it over and over again it was like no bro come on it's not interesting anymore.